Oh my God. Something just absolutely obliterated that though. Well, they like devil horn. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dishes and Fishes where I show you how to cook and set hooks. And welcome to the second official episode of Does It Matter? Where I test fishing trends and whether or not the things the pros say are actually true. Today we're talking about topwater baits, specifically the walking bait, and whether or not the color of these things actually matters. There's so many of these things on the market and fish really only see the bottom of them, right? I mean, I don't know. So either way, we're gonna test if whether or not the color of these walking baits actually matters. So let's take a look at how. I've got three of my favorite topwater walking baits the Berkeley Hijacker. I talk about it in a bunch of different videos. I love this bait. These three are all in the color bone, blank canvas for me to detail them and customize them however I'd like. So I've enlisted the help of one of the best custom lure painters in the state of Connecticut to help me with this one. <laughs> Say hi. I don't want to. So let's get these things painted up and see if they still work. I got the green to blend into the grass. Ready? No. <laughs> She's the best. So you can make three different ones. All right? Okay. I'm gonna make them all different. And then you have to come up with names for them after, okay? Okay. So like this one, this is called, the color is called bone. Okay. I'm afraid these dogs are gonna knock this over. A brief entries chasing a golden <laughs> dream. Bag. Yeah. What a sight to see. One. All right, what do you want to name it? You got to think of a color. Um, flame. Flame? Love it. What color is that? Um, purple and black. You gotta think of like a sick name for it. Um, devil. Devil? Yeah. Awesome. Look at underneath it. What what's the name of that one? Lady Sparkle and underneath it. Lady Sparkle? Uh-huh. And underneath it there's some glitter too. Epic. So was that fun? Mm-hmm. What is your prediction for the, those lures? I don't know. You think they're gonna work? I uh, don't know. You don't think they're gonna work? Even with Uncle T zipping them? Charlie, you did an awesome job. This is perfect, this is exactly what I wanted.
Lady Sparkle. <laughs> Limited edition Lady Sparkle. So that, I think he knew about that and didn't want to fix it. And when he sold it to me, the motor also, every time I... Oh, uh, that's a good one. Get out of there. Uh, oh. Another nice smallie. Flame. <laughs> Flame nailing him. Devil horn. Devil horn. Oh my. Oh my. That's gone. Devil horn's gone. Something has absolutely obliterated that though. Well, they like devil horn, and I'm using braided line. This is 15 pound braid. I went over this in a few other videos, but I like using braid on top water setups because I feel like it's pretty reliable in terms of that happening. Evidently not so much because that's happened with devil horn and it's happened with flame. So now all I'm left with is uh, lady sparkle, which has been slaying them, but a little disappointing because that was a tank. I did a video last year on topwater lures, mistakes people make. In the video, I said you want to use a, quote, relatively stiff rod. That was one of the first videos I made, and looking back, it was not a very good description of what kind of rod you should use for this. I've actually been throwing it on a, a medium-heavy bait casting rod, but it has a kind of a soft tip on it. The soft tip is kind of perfect for walking baits. If it's too stiff, Kind of like I talk about in the jerk bait video, the tip, it'll leave you in a bad position if you get a, a bite. Nice and easy. Decent. Finally, a nice green one on the Lady Sparkle. All I got left is Lady Sparkle. I'm just out here having fun, guys. So as you can see guys, fish don't really seem to mind if your lures were painted by a six year old. We did catch a lot more smallmouth than largemouth, but we caught quality fish of both species and we caught numbers of fish. We caught a lot of fish. You could probably argue, yes, a certain color may get you more bites on a certain day, like a black color or a white color, whatever. But honestly, after today, I do not think the color of these walking baits actually matters. So don't put too much thought into it next time. Just make sure you're using a good setup and you're walking the bait properly. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.